Hello everyone, my name is Paul Instamayoi, and we're back for Pokemon Y Shiny Hunting Episode 22, Lapras. If you didn't watch the last episode, why didn't you? You want a quick recap of the software sets? Got 470, really close to 500, oh dang. Anyway, today's topic is by me. First of all, if, you, if you've never heard of anime... Or watched anime before. I've talked about it a little bit in uh, some previous topics, but I want to know if you just you just watch it at all. But that's not the main topic. I'm just wondering if you watch it. If you don't, um, you just try it out. Just see what you. But be careful. Some of them are sexual or stuff like that, and even shum shum really some show stuff like nipples or something like that. So be careful which ones you watch. And, um, yeah, just don't type in, just don't type in hentai. That's, that's not normal anime. That's like porn anime. So <laughs> don't type that in unless you're watching porn or something like that. But anyway, um, so the main topic is what kind of anime do you look for to watch? Or do you just not mind which anime, what, what kind of anime it is? And for me personally, my preference is I pretty much, I just watch really any, I don't mind what the anime is if it's like, if it's like, uh, I don't know, I don't think I really have a preference when it comes to what type, like, there's a lot of, a lot of types like called Slice of Life or, or, uh, Adventure or Mystical or whatever like that, you know what I mean, like, there's different sections. And, um, yeah, I really don't mind those, like, I just really don't mind. The only things that would stop me from watching an anime are many factors. That means many different things. Like, uh, let's start off with the amount of time the episodes have. So, if the episodes are 35 minutes, or higher than 35 minutes, then, like, way higher than 35 minutes, like 37 or 38, then I'm just not going to watch the anime. I know, like, it could be amazing, but I just don't like watching things that are super long, you know what I mean? I just don't like that at all. So, that's one of the things. And another thing is, if I can't hear what they're saying, and I make sure, like, it's for a topic for another video, but... I don't want to have to raise the volume because I know I'm going to get bad hearing. So I keep it at a certain amount. And if I can't hear them, then even if it's like a single word and I can't understand, I'm like, nope. And if it's just my first time watching it and it does that, then nope, done with it. So that's another reason why I would, I would stop myself from watching an anime. Um, if it gets sexual, like... If someone, if like rape is happening or something, or, or, or like someone, like grabs someone on the butt and and meant something sexual, then nope, I'm done with that as well. <laughs> like I watch animes that have, have uh, some animes that like show nipples and all that, and that's not sexual. That's just that's just nipples. That's it. And if and um. There is this one this one part in an anime. I'll talk about it like, which anime it is in another topic, but it's, like, this, like, um, this girl is kind of trying to get information, and she, like, kind of has, almost has sex with this other guy, and he, like, seals up on her, on her boob, but she was fine with it, so I was, like, you know what, I'm making that an exception, because it's, like, it's not really, I guess it's not rape, because she didn't, I don't know, it's, it's fine with me, honestly, because that kind of little stuff, it's okay. And then when, when, when they make sex jokes and everything, because that, there's a lot of those in, um, in most of the animes I watch. But they don't, if it's just jokes, like, it's, it's okay. And, oh yeah, another thing that I would count as, as sexual, if, if they were, if they were, like, peeping in on, on girls or something like that, when they're just trying to expect them to be, naked or something like that, then nope, that would be a no, so, yeah, other than that, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really mind, uh, mind to watch 
anime, just as long as it ha doesn't have those things, I, unless I'm forgetting something else, which I don't think I am, which, uh, oh yeah, 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 um, of course, me personally, when I watch anime, I make sure to watch it English dubbed, that means, like, they're actually speaking English, like, for real. There's this one called English subbed, and that means they're speaking Japanese, or speaking another language, but it has English subtitles, and subtitles are, like, the words at the bottom when they're talking, and it, it, um, translates to English words. I just don't like, like watching sub because for some reason, when I watch it, it makes me really hungry in real life. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. Even after I ate, it just makes me hungry. So I was like, you know what? So I don't be a, a super overeating person. I'm not going to be watching sub anime. And I missed out a lot by not watching that. But I just I just rather would stay in shape than, uh, than watch some, some extra anime that is only subbed. But anyway, yeah, I only watch dubs. So that's another anime uh, type uh that would uh, that was another thing that would stop me from watching an anime, and uh, so yeah, that's pretty much my preference. What is what is uh, all of your preferences, or if you haven't watched it before? So, cause I'm curious, I'm curious to know what is your was your first one. I think my first anime that I've ever seen was one called Bleach. I don't watch it anymore because, like, oh yeah yeah yeah, that's another reason. That's another thing why I wouldn't watch an anime. If their mouth doesn't sync up with the words, that's, that, I know, it's something that sounds really stupid, but I just don't like the feeling of watching something that is, isn't in sync, like the audio isn't in sync with, with the, with the anime, like, like if a character is saying, hello, and then their mouth moves before or after the audio, and... Yeah, it it's just I it, I don't like that at all. Oh yeah, another another one is some animes that have like it looks like a cartoon show kind of and like some of those uh designs of it I just don't like those. Like if it's super 3D and it looks how can I explain it? Like uh what is a show that does that? Um crap I, it's something with like spy in it and it's like a it was like a like a show with a bunch of kids and spy spies and then when they go into another world oh here's an here's an example okay so if you ever watched adventure time that one episode when they were like when they were in like a 3d world and they were like 3d models that kind of stuff like I just I don't like that at all it just looks it, it just looks so weird and it feels feels so weird inside to watch that. It's like, ugh, I just, in a bad way. <laughs> I just don't like watching that. But anyway, so, yeah, it was, um, the topic so far is ending, ending, uh, here, just because I think that's all. And, um, yeah, so if I remember, then I'll talk more about it in the episode or in, uh, the next episodes. But yeah, so going back from last episode, I was talking about my Pokemon Y battle. So pretty much, okay, the guy, his name is Chin, and I hope I can battle with him again, because he had some strong Pokemon. Oh, not only he had strong Pokemon, but he had shinies. Like, every single one of them that I saw were shiny so far. Like, he, he threw out the Gengar, it was shiny. Threw out Alakazam, it was shiny. Threw out a Talonflame, we had a mirror match, Talonflame versus Talonflame. And now it was a shiny. That, that shiny Talonflame, whew, that, that... That bright red, like, that's so amazing compared to the normal. It looks, it looks freaking awesome. And then Alakazam with that pink, pink instead of brown armor plates on its body, that's amazing as well. But, um, but yeah, so, yeah, I got destroyed. He only had to use three Pokemon to destroy me. Then again, my Pokemon aren't like you know, super high stats, because I, because I'm, I'm always seeing, like, Alakazam, Gengar, and even Talonflame, because they have, like, a specific high, super high stat, but I don't really look for that in a Pokemon, I just, you know, just train them either way, even if they have weak stats. That's just how I am, because I want to be able to try every Pokemon, no matter if they're weak or strong. And, uh, yeah, so, but anyway, so, 
I only was able to take out Gengar barely, barely. Like I was talking about this last episode, but he, his Gengar was faster than my Delphox, and he was he was having a life orb on the Gengar too, and um, he used Sludge Wave on my Delphox, and it brought it down to I think super red health. It was, I think it was 11 health, and then I was able to use Flamethrower on the Gengar and killed it. But since I was holding a life orb on my Delphox too. It took out my Delphox, so I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> oh, wait, did it? Um, Actually, no, 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 it didn't take out my Delphox. I remember my Delphox lived, but he sent out Alakazam, and his Alakazam was faster than my than my uh, Delphox, so that Alakazam just used Psychic and killed him. So, pretty much, um, yeah, that Alakazam, I think it killed... I forgot who else it killed. I think it killed my... Yeah, I sent out Simi Sage because my Simi Sage has Crunch and Dark is super effective against Psychic. So I was like hoping my Simi Sage was faster, but nope. The Alakazam one-shot me with a Psychic again. And then he switched out um, his Alakazam with his Talon Flame. And then I think... Oh, wait, no. I think I brought out my Talon Flame because I was like, okay... My Talonflame is my fastest Pokemon, so I have to be able to take this thing out. But then he switched his Alakazam with um with his uh with his own Talonflame. And it was funny because it's a mirror match. But yeah, his he had Swords Dance. If you don't know what Swords Dance is, that's a move where if you use it just once, it increases your attack by two sharply. That's what it means. And you can have uh, each of your stats go up up to six maximum. And he went full attack, and he used Brave Bird on me, and for some reason, the recoil, like, he was one-shotting my Pokemon, and they were at full health, and my Pokemon, they have a lot of health. And he wasn't even taking that much recoil. I feel like he might have been hacking, because the item he had was Shell Bell, I'm pretty sure. So, I don't know how he was doing that, but... He wasn't taking a lot of recoil from that Brave Bird, and that was like a load of crap. So he might have he might have been hacking. I don't know, but I don't want to just be be a sore loser and say that. But it really feels like he was, because that Brave Bird it wasn't wasn't doing. It was like he was pretty much getting the health back that he was losing by Shell Bell, and you don't get a lot of health back from Shell Bell, even if you like one shot Pokemon. You don't get a lot of health back. <laughs> And, yeah, I don't know, it's, it's crazy. But, uh, so yeah, that was a crazy, crazy battle. I think the other three Pokemon, he had, he had a Chansey, like, I was seeing it before we battled, like, the, on his Pokemon and his team. He had a Chansey, and I forget what else he had. He might have had a Greninja and a Charizard, I don't, I don't exactly remember, but I know, of course, the first three. But, yeah, he, he sweet me after he went plus six. And I, of course, I think I have a new strategy for um, for battling. Because I'm going to do at least the battle each day. After I record, I like a, a battle on Pokemon Y online. And, um, yeah, I just want to see because, yeah, because I can meet many people like that. And, uh, hey, even, his name is Chin, like C-H-I-N. And, um, so, yeah, he was, I was, he was pretty strong. He's pretty strong. And, uh, it sucks the shiny Gengar just looks like normal Gengar. I only knew it was a shiny because I saw the sparkle. And I was like, oh, that sucks. But, anyway, it's fun. So, my main... So, we'll do one more. Uh, actually, no, this will be my the final one of the episode. I'll, I, for now on, I'll start out with my Talonflame and set up Tailwind so that I'm super fast. And then I'll, like, switch it out if I can keep it alive. <laughs> so, I can just bring... Use Tailwind again whenever it runs out, so... That'll be my strategy so my Pokemon are fast. But anyway, so we reached... Ooh, we reached a lot. We, we did 24 this episode. So we ended off with 494 soft resets. That's pretty good. Anyway, bye Lapras. I've been your host, Paul Samayoi, and... Goodbye.